A disturbing thing to hear that 33 of 46 residents at an Aurora nursing home have tested positive for the virus and five of them at Juniper Village have died. And those instances are really why there is so much concern as to what is happening at nursing homes around the state. Our Lori Lizarraga asked Governor Polis how the state is planning to help this vulnerable community. Coronavirus has hit nursing homes and assisted living facilities hard. The need is great. Uh, the virus has a much worse trajectory uh, among Coloradans that are in their 70s and 80s. A vulnerable community that Polis cracked down on a month ago, restricting visitation at nursing homes on March 14th. We just passed 300 deaths in Colorado. Um, if, if we had failed to act early with regard to nursing homes and senior care facilities, that number could be in the thousands in that one area alone. Still, the Colorado Department of Public Health is reporting there are at least 182 cases and 55 residents from nursing homes and senior care centers have already died. And that's as of April 5th. The average age of a nursing home resident in Colorado is almost 85 years and everyone in a nursing home has an underlying health condition. Doug Farmer is the president of the association that represents nursing homes and assisted living facilities. He says they saw this coming. And so uh, I think it's not surprising to see that in areas where you have larger concentrations of people that are older than 80 years and also have a multitude of underlying health conditions that that there's a disproportionate number of uh, deaths. Governor Polis announced more testing is on the way, but protecting this vulnerable community may require stricter enforcement. They are, each of the communities is doing their best. Uh, we will certainly make sure to do what we can on the enforcement side to make sure that they are uh, as well as making and the governor said that more testing will become available when the supplies become available. He also said, though, PPE has not been distributed to nursing homes or assisted living facilities. Yeah, the state is distributing PPE to local public health agencies. Those agencies decide then where to distribute supplies in their community.